Hey everyone, and welcome to What Did I Miss, where today I wanted to comment on a story that broke recently that states that the upcoming third season of The Orville will be the show's final season. The source behind this story are comments made by a cast member on a podcast talking about a different series, so I wanted to play those remarks for you here while also explaining how they really affect the future of The Orville. Before I get into it though, I did want to welcome you to WDIM and ask that you please help support the channel by hitting that like button. If you want to be kept up to date on all the latest news and rumors in the world of The Orville and other sci-fi series, then hit that subscribe button too. The comments about the future of The Orville were made by main cast member Adrian Palicki, who plays Commander Grayson on the show. She was on a podcast called Clear Eyes, Full Hearts that is centered around the series Friday Night Lights, which is Miss Palicki's most successful part to date as she appeared in 52 out of the 76 episodes of the series. The podcaster asked Miss Palicki what she is currently working on, and she had this to say about the Orville. I know uh, you just wrapped on the third season of Orville. Is there anything you can tell us about it? No, it's like, it's honestly, it's so secretive. It's not gonna be out until 2022, and it is our oh, final wow. season. But y'all don't say that. Obviously, it's not great to hear a cast member say this about a show they are on, but this is far from the end of the story. First of all, it is obvious by the context of the conversation that Miss Palicki was not cleared by Disney, Fox, or Hulu to reveal the predetermined future status of the Orville at this time. Not only was this a venue that probably did not have a ton of fans of the Orville listening in, but even if this were true, the company would not want it released to the public as it would hurt the viewership of the still yet to be aired third season of the series. A similar situation occurred when Disney purchased Marvel and it was obvious that the yet to be aired seasons of the Marvel series on Netflix, such as The Punisher and Daredevil, would be their last because of the change of ownership. Even though the purchase happened months before, Netflix still waited until each series was released to formally announce their cancellation. Usually, the final season of a show gets a bit more build up within the narrative so the network is still able to make money off of it, and announcing a show's cancellation offhand would do nothing to help gain new interest in the show which, if anything, is probably what Hulu were hoping would happen with Miss Palicki appearing on the podcast that could, in theory, attract new fans to the Orville. While actors should know more than the general public about the shows they are on, sometimes they can be cavalier about their prospects given the nature of being an actor. Miss Palicki is a perfect example of this, as she has had a long career that has many stops and starts. Those include a Wonder Woman series that she shot a pilot for that never went to series, and also a spin-off of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. that would have starred her in the lead that I believe also shot a pilot that was not picked up. So in her mind, she may see this as the final run of the Orville given her own experience, but that does not mean that is necessarily the case. The day after these comments were made public, one of the executive producers on the Orville, Tom Constantino, posted a message on Twitter in response. Hey folks, been editing today, but despite some misinformation to the contrary, The Orville Season 4 is still TBD. It will depend on audience appetite and the Season 3 response, so anything can happen. So what does this all mean? Well, first off, it is important to note that no final decisions have been made. As I stated, the only time that a series would certainly be cancelled before the season aired was if it was a planned send-off or if there was a change in company ownership. Even if a company, like Hulu, thinks that a series does not have many prospects, they would not cut it off at the knees by revealing a cancellation so early. In fact, right around the time the third season finished filming a few weeks ago, an executive from Fox, as well as series creator and star Seth MacFarlane, said they were both excited about the prospects of an upcoming fourth season. But this does mean that season three is very important to the future of the Orville, and I'm not talking about the possible storylines. Disney, through Fox, through Hulu, will be watching the interest level of the show up to and during the third season very closely. I don't know if there is a magic number of viewers they are looking to grab, but I'm sure that moving to a new network that is behind a new paywall for some will already have a negative effect on viewership. I myself have probably gotten over 100 comments in the past year from viewers stating that they had no idea the show was still on and many people probably believe that it has been cancelled given the long gestation period between the second and third season. It seems like viewers are sympathetic to most series and movies that have been delayed by COVID, but the third season of The Orville was also delayed by the purchase of Fox by Disney. Not only that, but Seth MacFarlane will always have a larger commitment that is The Family Guy, which airs on Fox. Seth MacFarlane has even used The Family Guy to air his own frustrations about the attitude of the network. A return to The Orville on Fox. Why do you hate that show so much? Because it's preventing me from doing my work here at Family Guy. There is hope that with the Orville moving under the Hulu banner, that it will be getting a bigger push for its upcoming season. 
And before this, all signs pointed to that being the case. Cast and crew alike are calling a third season, which has been giving the optimistic tagline of New Horizons, the most ambitious yet, with longer episodes that include larger battles and new planets to explore. At a recent convention, series star Mark Jackson, who plays the Kalon Isaac, remarked that he thought each of the 11 episodes felt to him like a mini-movie. It is also a great time to be a fan of science fiction, with Star Trek and Star Wars putting out new content on Paramount Plus and Disney Plus, and now a reboot slash reimagination of Babylon 5 is also in the works at Warner Brothers. If you'd like to learn more about the new Babylon 5 series, I put a video out about it that I will leave a link to here and in the description. You even have newer networks like the Apple TV Network, airing sci-fi series like The Foundation, and streaming juggernaut Netflix has seen success with The Expanse and Lost in Space. So it would make sense that Hulu pushed the Orville as their flagship science fiction property to stake a claim in this ever-growing market. As for Miss Palicki's comments, I would take them with a grain of salt from an actress who has seen the tides of Hollywood and may be understandably cynical at this point. There is a new cast member this season in Annie Winters as the character Charlie Burke. So it is possible that this could be Miss Palicki's last season on the show and she will be replaced by this new character. In the downtime between seasons, she could have landed a new role and want to concentrate on that opportunity, similar to what happened with Halston Sage. Halston Sage played the role of Alara Catan before her character was written off during the second season due to her being cast in a different series, which has since been cancelled coincidentally. It is also worth mentioning that in the time between the filming of the second and third season of The Orville, Miss Palicki had married and divorced fellow cast member Scott Grimes, who plays Gordon Malloy on the show. So she may have some understandable concerns about returning to the series, and this could be a way for her to expedite her departure from it. She would not be the first actor or actress to let their personal relationships affect their careers, and it is interesting to me that producer Tom Constantino used a gif of her ex-husband to respond to her comments, which he referred to as misinformation. But what is all going to boil down to at the end of the day are numbers. So the best thing you can do as a fan of the show is to show your support. It does seem that recently, Fans have helped make a lot of decisions for studios, such as the fan outcry that led to the release of the Snyder Cut version of the Justice League. Just last week, when the new series Star Trek Strange New Worlds finished filming their first season, series star Anson Mount had this to say. That is an official wrap on season one of Star Trek Strange New Worlds. I can't believe that I'm saying that. It's been such a journey. It's been such an honor to work with this cast and crew. And I just want to remind you that this is happening because of you, the fans. You made this happen, and we are so grateful for your support, for your continued support, for all your well wishes. The main cast of Strange New Worlds debuted on Star Trek Discovery, and was then given a pilot order and series following the fan reaction to them on the show, which is the journey that I'm sure Anson Mount is alluding to. So it is evident that fans can help decide the fate of their favorite characters from time to time, and I believe the Orville is definitely one of those series. As I have said in prior videos, make sure you subscribe, like, and share content that supports the Orville like WDIM, and also make sure that your friends know about it too. There are quite a few months before the third season airs on March 10th, 2022, so plenty of time for a rewatch of the series on Hulu. I will be releasing a ton of content too, because I'm a huge fan of the show, so make sure you check back often for what is new. Well, that is all I have for this week, but hopefully I was able to help you understand this and inspire you to help support the Orville. Thank you for clicking on this video. Please hit that like button if you have enjoyed it, and I will see you next time on What Did I Miss?